Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Pondarian. Last time we... Oops. This is what we want. So, last time we looked at... Sorry, they're very noisy. Uh, I actually just turned this up so I could listen to my own audio. I should turn that down. Um, we looked at Pondarian. Typical chess set. Knight Templar. No pawns, only knights. Mord King. And Shogun, who uses Go instead. These are are stranger stranger classes these were added in a more recent patch um the patches for this game uh yeah the patch on may 10th was just a uh, uh balance patch they added these three characters i think in one support but one thing that they've been doing is yeah, the major update was April 5th, I believe. That was the six months update. They added these three characters. So uh, these are all other chess sets that are not common in your typical chess. Um, but almost all the other um, patches for this game are language patches. Because I don't want to say that this game is like perfect, but this game is basically done. Like, I guess they could add a fourth one of these. You know, another just basic... Um, thing, more enemies, more effects, more stuff like that. But like the game's basically done, you know. Um, so all that they're doing is is just making it more accessible, and I I find that appreciable. Um, so the Nomad is interesting. They do not actually move. Any time you actually target an enemy, that's ranged, so you shoot them. This will go over someone. This is the hawk. So I shoot them like that. And then I also got a um, cantrip there, so I can jump here. And that actually is a movement because I'm not going anywhere. So if I go like here, for example, that's movement. But if I go to click on this guy, I stay on the square that I'm on. Um, this is a really good character for that reason because it means that they are moving with their and whenever they want to they move so they can stay fortified on one specific square and never ever move and that's really convenient um the problem is that they have a few problems of course they're not a perfect character let's do that and then yeah let's shoot you get you away from me hmm let's get in the corner here this this is another thing that happens with this character kind of like the kind of like with um the shogun sometimes you just are getting bad moves and you can't do anything with them so you just have to deal, you know? So I really like the Nomad. The Nomad's ability to jump over guys. Instead of having the pawn, you can see that she has the hawk. Because this is jumping, this means that you can get over people's heads pretty easily. Are you shooting me? You are. Use that to just kill. Get out of here. I'll take that damage. I can take one hit safely. So yeah, like the fact that she's shooting is really, really convenient. It's a really cool concept too. Um, and then the fact that she has knights, she has a normal amount of knights too, but then she has four of these. Um, she also has one extra bishop and one extra rook to make up the space because these couldn't all be a... Uh, be these things what are they hawks yeah they couldn't all be hawks um and that's a shame but hmm let's go here oh i have another well 
I guess we'll go there. Back to start. Hmm. Let's just move out of here. This is blight, so I can't stop myself from taking that damage. And again, nothing that can kill anything that's right next to me. So I just kind of had to deal there, but that's fine. Um, because of the way that I, I'm just continually moving around the board, like actually getting this character hurt is a lot harder. Um, this is one reason that I really, really like the Nomad. Nice. Um, so this is something I've actually not talked about for my other, um, roguelike videos. Damn. Sorry, I'm not I'm not thinking and looking super hard because I'm just focusing hardcore into actually like playing the game and talking. And that's eating up all of my concentration. So I'm making dumb mistakes. Um like I didn't need to take that damage for nothing. Let's put some more on that, huh? Shall we? Um I should be able to do this with three, right? Yeah, look at that. Um, so she can also do the, like, kill three guys move. Look at that. Clean as you could possibly want. Nice. Very good. And then this will hit twice. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Um. So yeah, the character does like a lot of damage. And then they also like only move when they want to. You only move as this character when you want to. And then I talked about how with a knight, you can jump over people's heads and do like crazy amounts of damage. Um, that is also the case with this character. Uh, I can take two. Would it be better to do you or you? Let's do you. And like, so I'm, I'm shooting here, but I'm hitting all of these. And that's actually like, That's essentially free. Um, I'll do you, because you dodge. And I can take that hit. Also free. Hmm. We should go here and armor up. So you can see that his uh, attack radius is category size huge. Hmm. Really good card. Hate to spend it on that. But that's the way it goes, I guess. Uh, we'll go here. this kills us but that's fine um i just wanted to sh i'm showing off all these characters i really like the nomad the nomad's a very very cool character so the cappy zerker is even weirder every third piece of gold is crystal health um you gain rage when you're hurt and that gives you cantrip you don't get cantrip otherwise um so bear jump and attack anything two squares away. So I get this whole area. That's my zone. And I am, again, moving back into guys. So um, this game is essentially 
done, shall we say? Um, it's difficult to say, like, when a game is done. Um, by the way, the maximum that you can get as him is about three hearts per game. Um, I think so, at least. And so you're able to take three points of damage, not die, because you have this one still, and then fill it all back up as long as you go really quickly. The problem with that, with this character really is just the fact that, like, he's strong and good, but you're not really meant to uh, be getting hit in this game. Like, good uh, gameplay, chess-wise. Yeah, see, so now I got that. And then I can, oh, you can get four. Okay, so it is good to actually buy some. So this will automatically consume itself. Um, and that's, you know, that's too bad, but that's how it works. And then I don't know, I don't, I, I just, I probably could look at the animation or count, but I've really never given it thought. Um, I don't know if the heart crystals that don't go into your, your hearts, I don't know if those actually count as, um, money or not. So you can see that, uh, like, the production values here are low, but also who cares? The game looks exactly as the developer intends. It looks about as good as it should, you know? Like, this game looks basically as you would expect. I can take that hit. Um, because it's just a simple chess game. And that is all it really wants to be. The line art is clean. The art looks really good. Um, and so it's just a very simple game. You could probably get this running on phones pretty easily, um, since I'm only using the mouse to click here. Um, I don't typically go into like, what could I expect? What could I want out of this game in Friday Night Roguelikes? Uh, mostly just because like, I don't care and not in a negative way. It's just like, I'm content to play this game as the game is, as, as it is being played right now before me. Yeah, all right. Um, I don't need to, you know, think about what I want out of this game. Sometimes I am like, hey, this is busted and this should be fixed. Um, Lord knows that I have complained about Slay the Spire enough on this game, uh, on this channel rather. Um, but that's its own thing. That's, let's not even get into that. Nice. Ah, oh, damn. I'll get over there eventually. My handful of kings. God damn. I'll go ahead and grab this just because, like, it'll probably be useful. Um, but yeah, this is such a solid game. So I don't really know what I could expect out of, like... Obviously, you could put in more characters. Um, but, like, I'm having a good time with this game without more characters. I don't... Oh, that sucks. I don't need more characters in this game to have good time. I should, you know, get better with the characters I already have. Um, but I could imagine them putting more characters into this game. That's, you know, pretty easily conceivable. Um, and then there are only three real campaigns. And then, granted, in order to increase replayability, the three campaigns are then multiplied by the fact that you play them all, like... XD times in order to get hmm. I'll at least get the kill um, you play every campaign you know XD amount of times in order to get every single nice clean as hell um yeah, I haven't talked about it yet, but you do, like, replay this game in order to just get more stuff. Hmm. 
I can take that. Two hits. Take that. Nice. All right, cool. Kebibara, I think, just means small bear. So these are the chains. Um, you increase these in order to unlock more stuff. Um, I have only got chain one done as Nomad, and I've only done one thing of chain two as Mystic and Nomad, because Mystic and Nomad are, bu are busted. Um, but you can see that they normal, harder, you are constantly leaving blight on your own squares. So you need to be careful of where you walk and where you were because you're leaving something that'll damage you every turn. Um, what's more, blight can stack. So like you can put, if you, if you get five blights on a single thing, that square just deals five damage if you end your turn there. So don't end your fucking turn there. Um, this can be something that can actually hurt the Nomad pretty bad. Um, friendly spirits that are worth of the battlefield unscathed despite wearing no armor no shield you never get shield you get purify and the first move every turn leaves a ward so that's a little more complicated i will now move away from this thing oh yeah i have ghost ghosts are my are my special thing any empty square so you can't attack with ghost but you can use it to set up something that's super good and then if you put a attack on ghost, you can technically attack with it. And then leaving behind on your starting square, um, yeah, sorry, at the start of every turn, uh, you hop in, burn it, destroy it, but you get three shields. So you can use it to tank hits. Um, and it's only by, you know, returning to where you were. do that simple solution right um so that's a really really good that's great in fact uh here and then here yeah it's a one two punch um and then i'll move out of here just to get rid of this enemies can't walk through this yeah the square can't be entered so if you make a little wall out of these it would take a long time and eat up all of this gold because that's, you know, loosely your turn limit. That's fine. I can take that hit. I shouldn't have taken it, but... Here? But yeah, you can also use it as an attack. Um, it takes some imagination, but if you back an enemy up into... If you back an enemy up into one of those shields, um, they can't dodge into it because they just can't enter it. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'll just, instead of thinking about my move constructively, I'll do that. So I was able to take those hits thanks to uh, my square. So one thing that you can do, this is possible and conceivable, you can just keep backing him up into things, and then eventually he's going to have to run into a shield. Um, I like that. That's smart. I like it, you know? I'll go ahead and take that. So the ghost is a really good piece, because like, just saying I move anywhere is kind of lame, but saying... Cardinally adjacent. Uh, oh, right. Takes effect after. Duh. Should have gone here. That's unfortunate. Um, LP tax, you know? Let's 
go here. Yeah. Take the hit. Don't care. Not paid enough to care. Hmm. Cool. So just saying I'm getting three shield is really, really strong. Um, cause you can just rely on getting that three shield. And in fact, you can armor up and I think maybe I'm misremembering, but I, I am of the belief that you can get it twice. I'll go ahead and grab that air out my money, finish out. Um, I think you might be able to grab two in one turn. Um, but then that's eating it up. You only make them at a rate of one per turn. Um, yeah, you only make them at a rate of one per turn, so maybe it's not smart to use them all super quick. Let's go here. Okay, cool. Eh, we'll grab cash. Why not? Hmm. Nice. Hmm. So another thing that I do often while playing is... Nice. Another thing I do while playing is the Mystic. I don't know why, but I just forget that sometimes I actually have to move. I'm just, I imagine, used to playing as a character who isn't moving. Um... Their designs aren't, like, super similar. You can see there I was able to use the back them into a corner and shiv them trick. Um, yeah, sometimes I just forget that I'm uh, not playing as the Mystic because... Not Mystic. The Nomad, because I play as the Nomad the most. The Nomad's my favorite class. Nice. And then what? Then we... Let's go here and take the armor, just so we don't have to deal. Yeah, alright, that works. Hmm. Four damage, huh? We're taking one damage either way, so let's take one damage and bank the shields. And then you can see that we consecrate that so we don't have to take the damage from the blight. Um, and then what? We can move here just to get near. Might be a little better. Hmm. This isn't good. Oh, I could have done that. Actually, no, that would have been bad. Three damage. Actually, I can go almost anywhere on the board now. Let's go here. So yeah, like, I'm taking a lot of damage, but that doesn't matter to me. Because I can shield up, and then you can also use it as an attack if you're smart. Because you can just say, hey, I'm going to push you here. Oh, what's wrong? You can't go here? Too bad. So that's super good. Mystic is really good, and Nomad are both really good. Yeah, they both have a, a, a little face covering. All of the, Every character technically has a face covering, because this guy is Mempo, and this guy is a beard. And then full helmet, and then another full helmet. But when I saw this, I actually kind of assumed that the game would have this kind of artwork. Uh, and like, well, of course, I am talking about how, hey, if I would would want more of this game the things that i would want would be more characters more enemies and more dungeons because like we said there are only six characters and three dungeons 
Um, of course, there could be more of those. We can add more of those. And I think that it would be easy to add more. And that would be cool. But I have a, I have a thing in mind that I'll talk about next episode. Um, just because... I've already talked a lot. I know that, you know, if people are watching these videos, it's because they're here to watch me flap my fucking mouth. Uh, but I don't need to front load it. So next time we'll talk about what else I could want. And I'll show off the other two campaigns because so far we've just been in the goblin caves. Um, well, I'll see you guys next time. I'm an alpha. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. So this has been Ponvarian. Uh, please buy this game. It's really good. Comes highly recommended. But I'll see you guys later. Bye.